super fans or just like people in the industry who say things disrespectful or whatever, but there's no time that I've really gotten myself too in trouble because I've been smarter. Like I don't go somewhere by myself where I could get just kidnapped, you know what I mean? So, I mean, I've had uh, promoters and stuff say different things to me like, yeah, I could get you on this show if you do ba ba ba, you know? And it's kind of like, you know, you like me because I rap and I have, you know, a decent draw or you just don't book me. There's no other motive behind it. So it's either you book me because you like me or you just don't. So I've had, I've had that kind of stuff happen to me for sure. But luckily nothing else crazy. Yeah, I think girls that are trying to be in the industry, people accept you how you give yourself to them. Basically, like a lot of people in the industry have treated me with respect because of the fact when I approach them and when I talk to them, I'm talking to them like I'm a boss. I know what I'm talking about. Um, I don't come at them really like ditzy and, and uh, sexual. So if I don't put out those vibes like they, you know, uh, flirtatious vibes. I'm not saying uh, guys necessarily need that to hit on a girl. They could not, they could do it regardless. It's kind of how you present yourself is how you're going to be received. I mean, if you're a rapper, there are girls who rap using sex appeal, which is cool if that's their lane, but then they're probably gonna get it a lot more. Like, because of the fact I'm a little more tomboyish and have that more like rocker kind of edge, I think I get it a little less because I'm not presenting my image like that. So girls just have to expect however they put themselves out, they're gonna definitely, you know, have to have to deal with uh, whatever comes with that, however they're putting out their image. But just basically stand your ground because another door will open. Like I've turned down plenty of shows because I felt really iffy about the promoter being weird or hitting on me or anything like that. And I wouldn't say I've lost opportunities or shows because of it, because the promoters that are professional will approach you like that promoter might not be that great anyway, if, if that's how they're treating you. You don't know how it's gonna be when you actually show up for the show, not just booking the show, but actually showing up and having to be in their face and stuff like that and dealing with them and getting paid and um, not having to go through extra extra bullshit so I mean just uh, stand your ground let them know that you know what you're talking about and uh, do you I am the psycho psychiatrist because my fans said my psycho shit saved them what suicide letters saved you from killing yourself so I guess the guy took the guy to get some weed but he didn't fucking bring him back they say he, kid <laughs> he kidnapped him so they held him at gunpoint there's something in in dark ideas and, and things that scare people and things that make people uncomfortable. Um, I relish in and I, I like I like extreme things. I like things that remove people from their complacent roots. The girl that doesn't talk about sex sent me the most sexual song ever. And he was like, well, get on it. And I was like, do you know what this is about? And then he's like, well, you, you're dope. You could do it. 